to get rid of some dead leaves and I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to come on here and just show you all how my plants are doing this winter um there's always a lot of questions as far as how to keep plants alive during the winter time so I'm going to show you how everything is looking right now okay so this is one of the first plants that's actually right by my front door it's a golden pothos it is on a totem um I've extended it three times I believe um, up to as high as it is now and um, it's doing pretty well I got this originally from Lowe's um, and it had the really big leaves and um, of course I knew it wasn't going to maintain those because this is never outside um, so I knew the new leaves would come in smaller but it has some gaps I need to adjust um, some of the vines to get them trailing up but for the most part I think it's doing really well you can see it has some yellowing right there. Nothing too crazy. It is still actively growing. This is the newest leaf right here. And then it has some new leaves down there as well. Um, if you see, you can see some of these brown spots here. That was a watering issue, less to do with winter, more on my part. Anytime when I buy the plants from um, the big box stores, I usually repot them um, because the soil is not really good. And they're usually waterlogged this one i didn't because at the time i just didn't have the soil and then i just didn't do it and months went by and you know flash forward so we have that um i will note though that about my apartment it's always hot the lowest is usually like 75 more times it's like 80 so the plants dry out quickly and um you know it's hard to sometimes stay on top of the watering when you know it's winter time and you have on the heat so that's that one this one right here this is less about winter and more about <laughs> what I did to it. You can see it has these two um, dead ones right here that I was waiting to pull off. I used to take the leaves off right when they started to yellow, but now, you know, I let them get fully brown and basically fall off before I take them. This one, again, big box store. It was waterlogged. Um, I meant to repot it. I never did. And so it suffered from root rot. And then by the time... I tried to salvage and repot it, which has been like, I want to say it's been probably going on a month. Um, this is what happened. So I had to completely break up the root ball and it was, it's in, it went into shock, um, which happened with my other bird of paradise, which is why I haven't gotten rid of it yet. Cause my other one did the same thing and it was able to bounce back. So this one, I'm just holding on to the last second cause birds of paradise are really some of my favorites just to see how well, you know, if at all it'll snap back for me. This one here is the Aglonema. I believe this one is the Silver Bay. Um, it's done well. It has a bit of a funky shape to it because for a while where I initially had it, this part here, which is more flat, was always against the wall and I didn't rotate it. Um, but I like it. Um, I'm starting to embrace like those kinds of things about my plants. Um, you know, little browning and <clears throat> what could be considered odd shapes i just feel like it makes them look more structural and i don't know i just like them that way so this one's doing pretty well you can see back here this little stalk right there that one and it looks like it's sprouting again that one um completely died back as far as the leaves but i left it there because they do you know they do go back um i have my humidifier going as you can see i'm gonna do a separate review on this humidifier versus the uh, uh, what is it called? Level it. Um, that one. I want to do a comparison about like just expensive versus cheap humidifiers. So, right here, you can see that we have the um, white butterfly syngonium. This one I did purchase from Plantarina. Um, it came on this totem. It started to outgrow it, but again, I like like the kooky shapes of the plants so i was going to extend it so it can continue to climb but for right now i'm just going to let it bush out um you can see it has some spots of brownings um from the oldest you know original leaves um we have this right here um and here as well this one i don't know um it has perked up since i put the humidifier by it but in general, I found that it was drying out really quickly. It is really root bound. 
um, but I didn't have another pot to put in it at the time and it was still growing fine. So I didn't pay it any attention. So I don't know if that's affecting this here, you know, combined with the dryness of the artificial heat because of the winter, but it's still doing well. Um, you know, I still think it looks really good. And this is just a perfect example too, of how I've changed with the plants. Maybe I'll do a separate video talking about like how my perception and care of plants has changed. Um, you know, from the beginning, from last year when I started to, uh, collect the plants, but something like this would have normally, I would be with the scissors. I would be trimming. I would be cutting it all off, but now I don't mind it. Um, and I think it's actually more realistic and I think it adds character to like each of the plants. So, and then also too, about that, I feel like it helps you to know, it helps you to know, like, um, not the evolution of the plants, but how the plants naturally progress. So you can see um, maybe different signs, you know, of when the leaves are going to go from like a super healthy one like this to one like this. So I think that it helps you to know what to look for in your plant and kind of pay more attention to your plant to see, um, you know, what issues it might be having. So up here really quick, this is just kind of like a little prop station. Um, these have been in here forever. Um, I don't know if I'll put them in soil. I kind of just like them in water. I have noticed over time after, cause these have been in here for at least six months and it could be more. I'm not good at keeping track. I should start writing it down, but you can see how, um, some of the leaves over time, they will lose leaves and push out new ones. I like to see the roots in the water. So I guess they probably just stay there. This one, um, as well, same thing. This one is the Brazil and this little skinny one that barely has any is Mikan's. Um, and then right here, I've had these moss balls for so long. Um, I couldn't even tell you how often I change the water because I literally just forget about them. And they're still nice and green and, you know, doing well. So I like them, just like those that sit up there. Here also, and I need to clean this tray, but these are, what is in here? Uh, Cebu Blue Pothos and there's a Golden Pothos in here. I think these were Cebu cuttings the Cebu blue cuttings, and then I put in a pothos cutting to make them grow faster. I pulled these up slightly a while back, and there is a lot of roots down in there. So I don't know. Like I said, for the time being, I like the way things look in the water. And here goes some more um, Brazil. And this actually, side note, this is a perfect reason of why you should like take pieces to propagate your plant. Because the main plant that I got these from, I don't have anymore. Um, I got bad root rot and it just didn't bounce back so i have this cutting that one and one more in the bathroom so it's cool to do that and you still have some of your original plants and this is just some pothos right there so now if we come across past the window this way this here is the hoya uh this is the princess um because the white is on the middle and the princess the, the white is on the outside and the queen um, correct me if I'm wrong. Sometimes I get it mixed up. But this one has done really well. I was worried about it being up against the window and it being cold, but it's done fine. And I think it's balanced because you can see the heater is down there. And I had plants on here too, so that has to get cleaned. But the heater is right there, but it does fine. I did push this one to the limit as far as watering. I waited too long and it was like crunchy, <laughs> like potato chips. So it only lost a few leaves and I was able to get it to bounce back. So for people who think you can't underwater a Hoya, you definitely can. And I pretty much <laughs> proved that, but this does well up here. This one here is my string of hearts. Same thing, I leave it here. It's balled up top but it was balled up top when i got it um it still has some nice big hearts and it still comes down pretty long i used to like sit over here and uh separate oops sit over here and separate this and and detangle and all, and i just don't anymore i just let it go and i'm fine with that and i like how it looks so that just stays there uh coming down right here this is the other bird of paradise i was talking about that had root rot that ended up bouncing back you can see this little perfectly new leaf right here so i'm hoping that's what happens with the other one uh that one's doing well right down here i have my struggling pink princess it was in water and when i moved it to soil it just was not happy 
and so it's been through some, through some things but it's starting to grow again not much pink yet but i'm hopeful that it'll bounce back so i have that here then i have my i think that's supposed to be a ficus ruby it's a long story with this one but it doesn't do much it'll pretty much put out a leaf or two then drop a leaf or two so it's pretty much been this size and it just sits there so it's doing fine i guess um this yellow table right here has a couple of my favorites on it um first you can see the what is it called the uh raffidora tetrasperma and you see all this bare stem at the bottom there used to be leaves down there this plant did not do well at all when i first got it it's going on a year then it started it bounced back it started doing so well it grew so fast it had all these leaves and then it just started dropping them as you can see it has a yellow one right there right now so i don't know um i'm just gonna leave it but it also has a new leaf coming in there but you can see they're starting to come in without the cuts and for the longest all the new leaves were coming in with the cuts so i don't know i thought about cutting it and propping it but the other one that i had that was doing a similar thing when i tried to water propagate it like i do everything else it didn't fare well and it just didn't work so for the time being i'm just going to leave this here now this one here which is so pretty and it finally has a long vine on it which i think i'm just going to let it trail um because i had every, staked it up prior this one started off um with if you look back into my videos i'll try to remember to link it i had it an unboxing when i first got it it had a five or six leaves but they were stressed from shipping so they were yellow it ended up dropping all the original leaves um but i just kept it stuck in the window and it took off and you can see it looks amazing right now um it has lost a couple leaves this summer no i mean this winter but nothing major and you can see right now it doesn't have any yellowing right now so i really like it i was thinking about staking up that trail right there but i think i'm just gonna let it go and do its thing um as i said i've just been liking to let the plants just do what they want and i think it gives them character so back here this is the hoyo is it the Wayeti? I don't think it's the Wayeti, but this one does okay. It grows a little bit here and there. It really hasn't done much since I bought it, um, you know, but it's not dead. So I pretty much just keep it. But this winter, it hasn't really lost much. I think like one little branch that had about like four leaves on it um, came off. This was another one where they just like dried up and crisped up because I was underwater. Uh, let's see back here in the back you can see this one is one of my favorites um this hawarthia because when i got it uh it was completely well they had it marked as dead it was a dollar and i got it for the container but it was so cute i just left it up there um you know it was all black and i'll try to insert a picture i sprinkled it with some water just because and then one day when i came out like a week or a couple weeks later i was so shocked to see that it had green um so that was pretty cool this little guy is the leftovers of a um it was a succulent i can't remember the name it was one of those black echeverias um and so i had that and i end up propping it and put it in an, a couple of these little containers this is the only one that survived and it's growing so i leave it there um moving over here this is another golden pothos i got this one from lowe's as well this one used to be on the totem but i decided i wanted it to trail so i took it off um you can see it has like one dead leaf here some brown spottings from water inconsistencies but nothing major uh, as far as that goes so this one's doing really well and you know it just sits there um i'll do a separate video on how i care for certain plants because those are the kind of questions i get but i've heard people have a lot of problems with both those i had problems with them at first when i did not have it in a well draining soil even though they're not fussy i think it's important to put them in a well draining soil because once i made that switch it did fine and then i just wait until it droops and then i water it in um i ordered a monstera online through instacart from a grocery store and this is what was brought to me so it's by the door because i didn't really want it but it's been growing so much that i kind of just leave it be but this one's doing well right here in this little cluster you can see there's a, a peace lily um, which is going to need some water soon a marble queen which is reverted because it's not getting as much light as it used to this is another um marble queen 
that is more variegated um it was getting more light i had it right up underneath a light now this one started off i put a bunch of different cuttings of pothos because i wanted um one pot with different ones so this has marble queen in it it has golden pothos and it has uh there was a neon leaf in there somewhere there it goes um and this is what i mean by drooping this one is starting to droop a little bit so it will be getting water soon as well and then this is uh what is it i think it's the the um the dumb cane one of those it's the reflector or the camouflage no it's the camouflage it's doing okay it was stuck in the mail for a while when i initially got it um it puts out some new leaves but you can see it has like this sort of thing going on um there's a new one coming so to me this one is just okay but it's always been just okay since i got it so um i guess it's pretty much no change this here is a raven zz this one has done um well in terms of leaf loss it's only lost like two little stalks of leaves and they were like smaller baby leaves it hasn't had much growth but um i would still say it's you know it's doing well it's doing fine it definitely grows differently from the regular zz i've noticed because i have one of those too and then this is the lucky bamboo um, we call it our family plant we had four one for each of us yes i know uh the history and the lore behind the numbers i didn't care i got one for each of us that's how we did it it has as you can see only three left it did lose one stalk um and ironically enough that stalk was the only one that started to put out a new branch and um i have heard that plants you know when they're on their way out they'll put out a, a last burst of energy or, or whatever of new growth to try to kind of save itself so i was trying to keep that stock because it had the new growth on it but it didn't last so it ended up going but this one is still doing well i would say now if i come over here um this is i call the main shelf just give you a little gaze of that pretty much everything here i would say is doing well um that is another piece from a golden pothos that i had uh and that's all in pieces all over now it's not in a big pot it was in before now what's interesting about this one oops so you see those marks right there on the wall the vine has started to attach itself to the wall and i was just like okay whatever like it'll be cute it literally digs in and you can see so i didn't want that to happen so i pulled it away from the wall and i just have it up here this is a philodendron red emerald i think this has been through some things but it's starting to grow so hopefully you know it'll do something when i got it it was a rooted plant it wasn't doing well so i chopped it water propagated it and replanted it so that's that and this is another marble queen pothos and this is my favorite leaf that it has this pretty little half moon leaf it does well some you know spots um with watering issues this is one of the only pots i have planted directly into the um ceramic ray done i don't like how they do it moisture but this one was thriving in there so i just left it and that's an empty terrarium back there i have to get something else to put in it this right here i have like a little like mini greenhouse thing i have some string of turtles in there i have to open it today to let it air out but it's been doing well and it's rooting i had a big pot of turtles and this is what's left um so i'm happy that those are rooting and then right here i just have various things in water micans um my whale fin sansevieria which i have to do a separate video on that because that's a long story but it put out one um this leaf right here and then i've been trying to root it forever so that's that this is the starfish one it struggled a bit um but i looked at the root system so i put it in a smaller pot so hopefully that helps and then just some more cutting seaweed this is the raven zz one it's probably not going to do anything because you can see it's falling off right now but when it came off the other plant i just stuck it in the water just in case um a couple different hoyas right here this was so much fuller and i feel like i waited too long to put it in water it has so many nice roots and this is what's left so i'm trying to root it again and see um aglonema this one's doing well uh, i would say these don't take much light even though the grow lights are here i recently put the grow lights there it does fine it keeps the variegation and you don't have to water it again i wait for it to droop 
this one here is a whole nother story. I have no idea. I'm holding on to it because I wanted one for so long and then when I finally got one, it did well for a very long time. I ended up changing the pot. Um, I think I was maybe overwatering it. I don't know, but it's mushy right now. Um, so I have it under the light. Hopefully it'll bounce back because this one was experiencing some issues as far as the whole thing drooping over. You can see this one long one is still kind of crooked, but this one bounced back. So I'm hoping this one does also. So I have those there. This one here is a Manjula Pothos. This was a cutting I bought. It was over a year ago. It took so long to root. Um, it had this right here is one of the original leaves from the cutting. And it finally kind of took off. This is a slow grower for me. You can see some browning. Again, just not keeping up with watering um, is what I think caused that. But, you know, it gives a character. And then I get questions about the patina on the pots. It's from the salt deposits and the water. That's what I've researched. That's what I found. That's what I believe. Other people believe it's mold. Um, you know, basically, terracotta is porous, so it absorbs all the moisture. But I like the look of it, so I don't clean them off. You can, though, if you want. This is a Peace Lily Domino. I think it's so pretty with all the different variegation. Um, as you know with Peace Lilies, you'll know when they need water because they'll just droop. But I do have some browning tips. I was using filtered water for a while for my plants. And then I just stopped. So I just use faucet water. Uh, let's see. Let me move down here. This is, and I think I might do two parts because this video might be getting long and I have the plants in the kitchen too, but we'll see. This is my Hoya Linearis. It's been through some things, but it's bounced back. Um, it was growing really well before when I had it over there in the window where I was, but then as the weather changed, I don't know if it was too cold or what, but it just, I don't know, but it's bounced back. So I'm happy with it. I keep it here. It's not far from the humidifier. Um, so that's good. Back there, I have Philodendron Silver Sword, which is doing well. It's growing more slowly since I took it out the window. But if you look right here, you can see it has a new little leaf that's going to be hopefully coming out soon. This asparagus fern is so funny. It was all yellow like this at one point, but I just thought it looked so cool. I kept it and I just kept watering it. And you can see it's just sprouting green now. So I'm happy about that, but I just think it's really pretty. But that one has had some struggles too. And then the last one over here for this one that I'll show and then I'll do the rest in a, probably like a little part two. This is my Cebu Blue Pothos, which had always done really well. Um, but this winter, you can see there's some leaves that have to be removed, some yellowing. But uh, let me see. It's just, I don't know. I didn't repot it. This is still the nursery pot. When I repotted my micans, which I don't have anymore, I just have a couple cuttings of it. It did not do well at all. So I really like this one, so I don't want to repot it. Uh, so it still has some fairly large leaves. Um, at one point it had leaves. I think this is one of the ones still from then. That's like, it was about, last time I measured it, like six inches. You can see this is longer than my hand. Some browning on the tips, but it's still growing also. So I would say it's not doing too badly. Lastly, this <laughs> situation here, this is a, uh, what are they called? I think this is another one of the, um, is this a dumb cane or an Nemo? I think this one, though, no, this was a, is another dumb cane. I can't remember which type it is. It did well for a while but um it just started to decline not sure why um i haven't dug down there to repot it or anything but i've seen these grow back from nothing you can see a little new growth right there so i just try to keep it watered and then just let it go i did cut some off but i decided i'm not going to cut any more off i'm just going to let it like run its course for whatever they're going to do and then once the weather warms up i'll go in and give it a trim and see from there so those are all the plants in the front room um and you know how they're doing this winter overall i think they're doing pretty well um i think that i just had to 
realize, um, you know, from last, how things will change with the plants and just not get too frustrated or concerned about it, I guess. And it's made it a lot um, better, a lot easier. And I don't know if I showed up here. This is my regular ZZ. It is showing some yellowing. I think with this one, I got a little water happy and I was overwatering it after, you know, because it's up there. And I forget about it when I'm watering. So then I try to compensate and I think I overwatered. So it has some yellowing. So I'm just trying to let it balance back out again because it was doing well. This snake plant was definitely underwater. So I'm trying to fix that. Um, this is the last left from a big pot I have from Aldi's. But yeah, I think it's still doing pretty well and it is doing some growing. So that's how my plants in my front room are doing this winter. Drop in the comments below. Let me know how your plants are doing. Do you have any plants that are struggling, um, particularly hardly right now? Or do you have any plants that are struggling? You know, basically is what I'm trying to say. Or are they doing pretty well? This one here too is my uh, Gloriosum. It's doing well. I've had people tell me it needs to be repot. You can see this new leaf here, right there. It takes a long time for the leaves to open for whatever reason. And I feel like this plant, these are all new leaves, by the way. When I bought it, it was a one, two, a three leaf cutting. These are all new leaves. I feel like though, every time it gives me a new leaf, it takes one. Cause you can see this one is starting to do that. So I don't know. But this one here, which looks like somebody took a bite out of it. This is when the leaf was stuck, I think is what happened. Um, when it was, you know, in a little pod like that to open. I think I was underwatering it, so it got stuck. Because when I started watering it again, like more than I was, it um, it ended up opening up. But that's how it came out. So I just try to make sure I keep up with the watering without overdoing it. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, again, comment down below. Let me know how your plants are doing. If anybody has any tips for this fairy castle cactus, let me know. This is what I have in the kitchen. Everything's doing pretty well. It's one yellow leaf down there. This one I do forget to water. And so it always ends up drooping when I come in the kitchen to wash the dishes. <laughs> and so I just add water then. But that's why those leaves look like that. But this started off as a single Cebu cutting and grew pretty well. So I started to stay on top of the water. This thing, I don't know. This is supposed to be the Sansevieria cylindrica. You can see they're like real thin. This one is yellow. I don't know. I've had that for a long time. It never really grew. Um, so that one's on its way out. This one is a Pothos Enjoy. I got it as a rehab clearance dollar plant. It's finally started growing, so I don't want to get rid of it. But you can see it's not without issues, but... I'm still going to keep it. And this one here, same thing. I think I paid a dollar or maybe 50 cent for this. Um, so it does well. And then it'll start to act crazy. But either way, I still like how it looks. So I just keep it. This is another cutting from that original one I showed you in there of the Manjula Pothos. Um, so this one did really good. Oh, it has a new leaf. So yeah, that one does well. Just got to kind of stay on top of the watering for it. Because even though I think these little terracotta are so cute, they dry out super fast. So you have to stay on top of it. Now this one, I wanted a staghorn fern for so long. I still don't have anything to mount it on yet. But this one has surprised me at how much I like it. Like I love how you can see all the veins in it. And then this little covering that grows to like protect the roots. It has a new little piece coming up in there. So I really like this. It does really well here. And um you know it's still in the pot so when i find something to mount it on i eventually will and what else this one surprised me this is the african mask um i'm surprised because last year winter it died completely down i kept the bulb this is the bulb and i was able to water and bring it back this one has not died down completely this is this new leaf because it was a single leaf for a long time um, after it started to die down, but it didn't die down completely and it ended up putting out a new one. So I guess it likes it in this window. This one here, which I really love, this is the Burl Marks. And um, I just love how that twists and turns. You can see it has all these new ones coming in. So it likes it here as well. And then this is my Philodendron Painted Lady. 
and I had it staked up and then it grew past the original stalk was here and it was all reverted when I got it. I cut all of that off and this was a new branch that formed and this is everything that grew from that branch. I was gonna restake it like I said, but I kind of like the curve. So maybe I'll let it go for a while and see what it's gonna do. But that's what I have in the kitchen. Um, again, you know, I'm washing dishes. Again, it does pretty well. Uh, it does very well here. So it's a heater down there also. Um, and I usually keep this window cracked so I like to have fresh air, but it doesn't affect that much. I'm just being silly, putting an onion up there that started to sprout. Um, but yeah, everything else in here is doing fine. And I have one other Aglaonema Silver Bay that is in, um, it's in Lekka. Let me see. It's over on the other counter, but I'm cooking. So this is the one, this one does, has done well. And, um, it put out a new leaf. This is the newest leaf right here. It hasn't put out newer ones as big as the originals, but it's doing pretty well. It's doing very well, actually, in the LECA. Um, so that's it. That's the update of all the plants. I did have plants over on another shelf, but all of those are gone. I've kind of consolidated. I did get rid of some plants, too. I need to do an updated count. But um, I've gotten rid of some ones that I really didn't care for anymore um just to focus on the ones that i really like so oh and this is a aglonema i think this is a what is this called a tiger or um panther something um it's doing pretty well you can see it's growing i had to take it out of the the soil because it was failing it was rotted so i completely cut it and i completely cut everything off and now it's rooting in the water i think i'll eventually put this one at like a two all right that's really it this time guys Thanks for watching.